Hello, my dear students, and welcome to Eng 202, Lesson 5, Describing a Process. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to first extract specific information from a reading text, second, revise one use of passive tense, and finally, write an article describing a process. Now, let us learn about the passive form. Let's read this example together. Nowadays, food is sold through applications. Is sold. Is sold is the passive form. When a verb is written without knowing who's done it, it becomes passive. So, if you find in a sentence a verb without knowing who done that verb, it means you are reading a passive form. Now, find the passive form in the following text. Let's read it together and find the passive form. I'll read it for you first. Okay, let's start. Coffee is a very famous and delicious drink that people love all around the world. Coffee is a drink all day, whether with a breakfast in the morning or with a piece of dessert in the afternoon. Sometimes coffee is enjoyed right before bedtime. time. To make coffee, first, the coffee beans are taken from the trees in the forests. Then, the beans are dried in the sun and roasted. After, the beans are cooled privately before being ground. The beans then get mixed with water for storing and freezing. Finally, the frozen mixture is ground once again before it's packed to the bags or jars and sold to stores everywhere for you to buy and enjoy at home or at a coffee shop. Now, let's try to find out where are the passive forms. I'll give you some time to figure out. Let us check your answers. Very good. Number one, coffee is a drink all day. Drink is a passive form. Why is a passive form? Because we don't know who did the verb. Number two, sometimes coffee is enjoyed right before the time too. Enjoyed, we don't know also who did the verb. Three, coffee beans are taken from the trees. Taken is also 
passive form and we don't know who did the, the verb. Okay? For the beans are dried in the sun and roasted. It is similar to the previous sentences. Five, the beans are cooled rapidly before being ground. Cooled and ground, both are passive forms. Six, the beans are get mixed with water. Also, get mixed is considered passive form. Seven, the frozen mixture is ground once again before it's packed. Ground and packed, both are passive forms. And finally, to sold to stores everywhere. Who sold? We don't know. So that's why we consider it as passive form. Now, we will move to how can we describe a process. OK. A process paragraph explains how something is done. It is a description of how something works. It explains the steps you need to follow in order to complete a task or an activity. So, if you want to write a paragraph about a task or activity and you want to explain the, the steps, you will learn a lot now. Okay, if you want to start writing a process paragraph, you should consider two things. Number one, you need to write connectors. What are the connectors? As you see in this box, first, second, third, next, then, after, after that, finally. These are some examples of connectors that you can write in your process paragraph. Number two, you will use the passive form that we have just learned. Like what? Like was made, were sold, was taken, is brought, and are written. So, you should consider two things, using connectors and the passive form. Okay, now, let's read again and find the connectors. I'll give you two minutes to find out. Good. As you see, first it's a connector, then after, and finally is also a connector. Okay, now let us read the steps of the process. The same text that we have just read. I'll give you some time to underline or to find out the steps in this process.
Very good. We have six steps. I'll read it for you. Number one, the beans are taken from the trees. Two, the beans are dried in the sun and roasted. Three, the beans are cooled and ground. Four, the beans are mixed with water for storing and freezing. Five, the frozen mixture is ground and packed into bags or jars. Six, the jars and bags are sold to stores. So these are the major steps mentioned in this process paragraph. Now, in your notebook, write a description of a process considering the following topics. Number one, how to build a model. Two, how to make your favorite dish. Three, how to review a book. And of course, don't forget to use the passive form and connectors. Thank you for your attention and see you again.